Fatima says, my husband lives in Saudi Arabia and I live in India with my in-laws. I do not want to stay here in the absence of my husband, but I live here just because my husband said so. What's the ruling regarding this? Can I go and stay at my parents' house without my husband's permission? Fatima, this is a complicated scenario because originally, unlike what the people in the subcontinent want or like to hear, a woman, a wife in Islam deserves a separate accommodation. This is her right in all books of fiqh. And this legitimate accommodation is identified by a room, a kitchenette, and a bathroom. That's it. It doesn't have to be a mansion. It doesn't have be, to be a, a, a spacious uh, apartment, though it's, that would be a, a plus. But this is her right in Islam. The vast majority of the people in the subcontinent marry to bring a new servant to their mother and sisters. She's the one who cooks and cleans and wh why would she do such a thing? She was living honorably with, in her parents' house. Why would she move? What is the cost? If she's marrying Mr. Olympia, maybe. If she's marrying someone who's as rich as Warren Buffett, maybe. He's neither handsome, nor rich, nor uh, a knowledgeable sheikh. So what's the compensation for giving up her rights? Nothing but to be a servant, a maid, and to be abused on top of that, not appreciated by everyone in the house. This is haram. This is unfair. So it is your right, Fatima, to get such an accommodation. But if you give up your right because you love your husband and you stay with him in your in-law's house, providing that there is no free mixing in such a joint family, it is totally prohibited, even if your husband wants it, that you live in a house where your brother, brothers-in-law roam freely and sometimes I get complaints lots of times of brothers-in-law barging in the bedroom of their sister-in-law without knocking, without asking, because this is their house. They don't respect their privacy. This is a serious issue. No man would accept this to happen to his wife. He can be a goat, he can be a sheep, he cannot be a man. So if this is the case, you're not allowed to live in such environment. This is haram environment to have such free mixing. Now, if your husband is out of the country, six months, maybe a year, working to earn money, why are you staying in your in-law's house? The one who you are supposed to serve, who is your husband, is not there. And if there is none mahrams coming in and out or living in the house, definitely you must not be there. You have all the right to go and live with your parents. If your husband does not allow you to do that, you do not have to obey him. You're not obliged to obey him. He's not there. And he's not providing you with a legitimate Islamic environment to live in. And hence, you can leave and go to your parents' house. However, you have to weigh the pros and cons and present it to him diplomatically, but firmly, that either you provide me with a, a separate accommodation where I can have my privacy with my children, or then I will have to go and live with my parents until you come back.